you search YouTube for Nikon Coolpix broken battery door for L610 or just Coolpix, you'll see some of these other solutions that I was referring to earlier. Everything from, from duct tape to, to uh, Velcro to rubber bands that, that even block the controls. So when I came up with that solution, I think, to use the screw eye, I thought I'd do a little tutorial and explain it. There's a problem with some of these Nikon Coolpix cameras where the battery door won't stay closed and it's because of a pro broken little pin that comes that keeps that battery door from staying locked and the pin breaks off from this corner here where it's supposed to go underneath this little latch so there are various solutions on YouTube on how to fix this camera this camera and other cameras too with a broken battery door seems to be a common problem with Nikon Coolpix especially and some of the solutions vary from using a tiny bungee cord somebody tried to put a bungee cord loop it through the camera strap into a hook that they glued on to the bottom a little hook they, they pull it, tie a knot on the end of the bungee cord, let go, and it kind of keeps that battery door closed. Another solution was Velcro to line the sides and the bottom with Velcro. Well, I came up with my own idea that I think is a lot less messy and maybe more secure, and it doesn't get in the way of any of the, uh, the camera buttons or controls and that is to use the smallest drill bit that I, I could find, which is a 1 16th, a 1 16th drill bit. But before I drill the hole, first I had to break off the little tab that that broken piece in the corner slides under. So I had to break that off and then try to file it down. I put a file in there and try to smooth that out. And then the hole that I drilled was from the outside of the battery door and it went through the through the outside of the door into the camera body and it, I made sure it didn't interfere with any of the workings of the camera and into that hole I inserted a screw eye. You have to hold the battery door closed pretty tightly because the batteries are going to want to spring back up and then while you're holding that you just tighten that screw eye until everything becomes flush in here. Once that is flush, and you've got your, your make sure you've got a good memory chip in there because it's going to stay in there for a while. Uh, then your camera will power on, and you can go ahead and use this camera even after the battery door breaks off. You know, you could buy a new battery door. But believe me, I searched already and there is only one available. It's from China. It costs $16 and the shipping is $16. So it's going to be more money than it's worth. And to replace the battery door, you have to remove about six or eight screws, separate the camera in two, take off the LCD screen, and hope you can get it all put back together again. Just to replace that door. So just try my method, get a small screw eye, the smallest one you can find, a 1 16th, 1 16th drill bit. Use your drill motor and steadily drill that through the door and part of the body and it's going to be pretty secure. Just remember to hold that down as you're tightening this so it becomes flush.